Hello and welcome to my tech fun. In this video I will have two experiments with these 3D printed yes no coins. The first one is using the ironing on the top layer. It's a new function of the Prusa Slicer 2.3. And the other is to use the PVA water soluble filament to support the bridging on the bottom layers. Because this coin has the graphics that the letters stand out uh, two layers. So it has to start with the printing and uh, with the letters and then it has to cover them with the bridging and this bridging uh, never looks good as a surface so uh, I have several of these coins and I like to use them to give them as a small gift when I don't have change for the tip for example and people really like them but uh, usually they will notice that the, the background of the no side is, is quite ugly compared to the yes side because this, as I mentioned, this bridging never looks good as a surface. Uh, I will use the seal gold filament from Azure Film. I did a review of this uh, filament uh, approximately a month ago. And when I noticed this problem, uh, then I decided to try to print this coin in a vertical position. And uh, now uh, the yes and no sides are quite equal, but there are two problems with this method. The first one is that uh, this is very risky printing. I have very small surface, contact surface with the printing bed. And uh, when I remove it, I can see marks of the supports. And also I can see that a nearly horizontal surface that it has those steps of the layers. And uh, having that nice side, it's, it's really interesting with this horizontal printing. So I can see how the light breaks uh, on that flat surface. And also, uh, I cannot insert a washer to have a heavier uh, coin. I explained this in a separate video, you can find the link in the description. So, uh, I want to improve this uh, uh, horizontally printing method. And, uh, well, yes, ironing. I, actually, I'm quite happy with this uh, quality of the top layer, but I can see those closing holes uh, now. So, uh, theoretically, the ironing should improve this. And from the bottom, uh, now if I will use the, the PVA uh, filament, it will fill these gaps on the, between no and the background. And actually that bridging will not be bridging, but it will be placed on this uh, PVA support. And then we can insert this in the water and the PVA will dissolve and uh, theoretically I should get a better surface. This is the coin Infusion 360, so the letters stand out uh, 0.4 millimeters, so two layers are for these letters yes and no. And then I created a cylinder and I subtract the coin from the cylinder, so that's how I got these two objects. And this will be from PVA, this will be the support from the background of the no text. And I export these uh, STR files and uh, import them to Prusa Slicer. And now let's import everything into Prusa Slicer. So first I'm importing a coin and then I'm adding a part. Part load. And then I will add these two bottom objects. And now printer settings, uh, I will enable two extruders. So actually I will have only one extruder, only I will change the filament manually. In print settings, uh, custom g-code, it's very important to add the tool change g-code is M600 and then I'm disabling this uh, retraction to zero because I notice I have some flowing problems after tool change so it's better if it is zero and then on plater I want to set that second extruder theoretical is the Prima Select PVA Mm, I will print it 50% infill and uh, maybe two parameters. So. Okay, and then uh, I will enable this that these two bottom objects are in Prima Select PVA. Let's quickly preview. Uh -huh. Okay, so it enabled the swipe timer, uh, which I don't need. I will uh, disable it. So it's in print settings, multiple extruder. I am disabling the wipe tower because I don't need it. Yes, filament settings, it's important that uh, PLA, the seal gold, has to be printed in 230 degrees Celsius. Nozzle temperature and uh, 80 degrees, 70 or 80 degrees uh, bed temperature. Uh, 
Let's preview the printing. So it will start here with the first layer, second layer. So with this uh, lighter color, you can see the PVA material. And then this bridging now, which will actually not be bridging because it has very nice uh, support below it. And I will have only two tool changes because it will start with the seal gold filament and uh, you can see the preview. And then in a second layer, it will start with the PVA and go back to the field, uh, seal gold. So only two filament changes I will have in this printing. Ah, yes, and uh, let's enable the ironing. It's in print settings, infill, and enable ironing on the top layer. Slice the export G code. So it starts with seal gold uh, filament. And then it will ask for change for the PVA. The problem is that it has very big uh, temperature difference for printing. The, this one the gold filament is uh, printed on 230 degrees Celsius, but PVA is uh, a little bit below 200. It will ask for filament change now. Hmm, it doesn't cool down. We will see if it will have that nice bridging. Now this is the ironing on the top layer, uh, which is the background of the letters. And it's very slow, so these three layers it will do more than 15 minutes. Let's put it in the water and then the PVA should uh, dissolve. <laughs> but it looks good. This is one hour later, but it's not finished yet. It's coming down very easily. It's almost done, but I will left it one more hour. Now let's see what's the situation after two hours. Mm, almost done. And it looks good. So it's not cleaned yet completely, but compared to this one without PVA for the bridging. And here it is, version 1.0. The yes side looks very nice, very smooth. I can see some shadow, some kind of shadow on the background, but, but it's very smooth and flat, the surface on the yes side. 
uh, on the north side, uh, the this bridging method uh, can work, but uh, 230 degrees Celsius for PVA was too much. And there was a lot of flowing and stringing and uh, when there are some extra material there, the bridging actually uh, goes over this material. And I can see those spots. So where the PVA uh, surface was flat, I can see very nice and quality surface there. But uh, those uh, spots where I have some stringing or some extra flowing, they're very visible on this method. So unfortunately in Prussia Slicer, uh, the temperature wasn't changed. And uh, so I have uh, to manipulate a little bit the G code because PVA should be printed in uh, 195 degrees Celsius. And uh, this azure uh, seal gold filament, it's PLA, but it has to be printed on 230 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's play with the G code a little bit. Okay, let's see better that uh, G code. So there is a command uh, M104 and then S and the numbers in degrees Celsius. We will set the external temperature. And I've over that this is not done automatically uh, with this M600 command in the push slicer. So I have to do it uh, now myself. Uh, okay, there is an M600 command. So before that I will insert but uh, this is T1, so extruder, the second extruder is PVA, so here I want to change it to 195 degrees Celsius. And on the second uh, tool change, I want to go back to the 230 degrees Celsius. Yes, that's it. Let's try this one. So I will print now four at a time and uh, now in the G-code I modify those uh, temperatures. So we will see, will it be good now? And this is now PVA printed on its 195 degrees Celsius. And I tried to took a picture here so you can see how it looks like uh, on the printing bed. I try to <coughs> clean some uh, unequal surfaces if there are any. It's the ironing process, but it will take more than half hours for these four coins. Let's place all these coins into water. After three hours, it's almost done. And here they are uh, version 2.0. So the only difference is now that the period is printed on 195 degrees Celsius, and I can see much better no side uh, background surface because. Uh, I reduce that flowing of the material and stringing, but it's still there, so it's not perfect. Uh, let's compare it with the previous version when the PV was printed on 230 degrees Celsius, so it's, it's much better. Uh, but I can see still those uh, unequal spots or, or uh, in the background of the north side. Uh, so I'm not sure how uh, can I rate this test. Here it is, the original version where the bridging was printed. Uh, without any support. I'm not sure. Uh, I hope it's visible on camera. Decide yourself. So this is an experiment where it's, I don't know, kind of a half of the success, but somebody wrote me in a comment that I should upload even those videos uh, when I failed with some experiment. Well, this is some kind of half success. So 
it's uploaded anyway. So, uh, well, anyway, I hope I can give you some ideas and maybe you'll learn something new. Mm, if you have any suggestions, please leave me them in the comment. Uh, and thank you for watching and happy printing.